Hello, my name is Chris Castell. I'm the creator of Horse Racing Systems. Uh, I also created this software that uh, you're going to be looking at. Uh, and also a number of uh, profitable horse racing systems that are currently on the market. Let's have a quick look at, uh, at the software now. What, uh, what you need to do is first of all open it up and enable macros. This, this computer at the moment set up, um, has not got macros set up to run. So to do that I click on tools and then go down here and find macros. If you can't see it straight away click the drop arrow and then you'll see macros and then go to security. And then you want to click on medium at the moment. This computer is set to very high. So click to medium and then enter and then you're going to have to restart the application again. So close it down, restart it and then click enable macros and now it's ready to run. The, I'll show you that uh, uh, the basis of the system. We've got a, a lay page and a back page. The lay page is the information that you would enter uh, and the system would run the uh, the calculations on uh, a laying system that you're running. If it was a back system you'd use the back and it would use a different set of uh, formula to work out your bets. <clears throat> um, the first thing you need to do is is enter your bank uh, amount that you're working with. The percentage stake that you want to bet at with your system, it may be 1%, um, maybe 2%, anything that you want to add that that's the amount, the percentage of your bank that you want to use. And then enter your Betfair Commission. Most people are on 5%, but uh, if you're on less than that, just enter whatever um, commission that's, that you're on. If you get stuck, there's, there's plenty of boxes that pop up telling you what to do and instructions down the side. Let's go over to the, uh, the front page. This is where you enter all of the data. I'm going to be looking at uh, initially at uh, three lay bets. First thing you do is work from the top down. So let's enter lay bet data. The pink is for lay bet, the blue is for back bet. It automatically opens up at the date your computer set out. So this is set at today's date. Click OK to that and enter the race time. So the first race I'm looking at is 2.10 and then enter that and then the race course name which is Kempton and then the horse's name which is Soviet Springs and enter that and then the, the lay price which is currently at 3.8 and that. Let's have a quick look at the the lay page now and see what it's done. It's now filled in the uh, the data with the criteria that we set here it's telling me that the best amount I should lay is 50 pounds. Okay, so, um, we would now let the, let the race run and see what happened. So let's say for example that it was a successful lay. Well here we see that in this results section um, we would enter um, 1 if we won the bet, 0 if we lost our bet and if it was a non-runner uh, then we would enter 2 or for any other reason it, it, it didn't actually um, it didn't actually qualify in your system criteria uh, just before the off then you just enter two and then the system would uh, void that and, uh, and it would work on to the next. So let's say we it was a successful lay you see it would enter one and then uh, press enter and then it would now fill in the details we show our overall profit take into account the 5% bet fare commission and now it would tell us that the next stake 
to enter the next lay stake would be £52.38. So we go to the front panel and enter in the details of the next race that we wanted to lay a bet on. So there's the date. Press enter and now the time. So this next one is at the is at 2.30. So enter that. And then the race course name, which is Bath. Enter that. And the horse's name, which is Nymphia. And then the lay price, in this case it's 4.3. So enter that. So let's say, for example, there was another successful lay. We'd enter 1, and then press Enter. And it would automatically fill out the details and tell us how much to place for our next lay bet. So go back to the front panel. Next lay bet. Again, another bet today. And this next one running at the 1450, the 250 race. Into that. Uh, the course name, which is Foslas. And then the horse's name, Magic Jack. Enter that. And that lay price is 2.18. And enter that. Let's say we were unsuccessful this time. We'd press 0 and then click enter. Now that you see it has worked out a, a loss, so we would have lost £64 uh, on that at these, these figures. And uh, our bet we are still in profit, and it's showing an overall profit of £32.52. So that's it on the on the lay section. The the back bet you do it in exactly the same way, entering the same data, and it all works it out for you. If you wanted to um, delete all of this information, there's a reset all. It's a good idea to not not to do that because it's always good to keep a running record. This will just scroll on and on and on and on, so you can just keep on and on with all of your uh, your betting. Uh, and keep a, uh, a val very valuable uh, record keeping system and uh, and it's great great to do that it's very good good discipline that that's all really if you do want to delete everything just click the re reset sheets and it'll say are you sure you want to do this well so if you if you want to do that then just click yes and there you see it's all reset ready to to work again if you've got a different value bank, just put in the value that you have. And if you want to just work at a different percentage, just enter those accordingly. And, uh, and then it'll work out your bets uh, according to the data that you enter. OK, that's all. I hope uh, you enjoy using the software. It's uh, there, available to download. And uh, just at the end of this video, you'll see the, um, the website that you can download it from. Okay, all the best and uh, good punting. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.